Hello everybody and welcome. Today we are checking out this game called Crows. Now this is a free to play team based shooter that is released not too long ago on Steam. The game fairly has a lot of mixed reviews. Uh, so I wanted to jump in and get some of my own impressions on the game and see how it's currently doing. Uh, if you guys enjoy the video, definitely leave a like on it and we'll get into a match very shortly here. Uh, some things I just wanted to show you guys real quick before jumping into a match. Um, they do have a little bit of customization for your character. When I first logged into the game, it did give me a few bundles as far as XP bonuses and some other uh, weapon bonuses and cosmetic items. There is a shop. This is a free to play game. So I kind of just wanted to get that out the way. Uh, most of the stuff, it looks like it is cosmetic, but of course there probably is some uh, XP bonuses and it looks like there's even a battle pass too. Um, but on top of customization, you can go everything from equipment, closet appearance, uh, emotes, spray and vehicle skins. Uh, as far as weapon selection, they do have a decent amount of weapons. It's nothing too crazy, but there's different styles. You got a ton of ARs, a uh, few SRs, SG, SMG, LMG, DMR. It's all there. Um, some of them are level required. I think there's only like three or four you can select at level one. Um, I did jump into one or two matches to try to record some footage, but then it ended up being kind of scuffed. So I figured I'd start fresh, which is why we're here. Um, and then they also have some, it looks like daily objectives and weekly objectives for the game. Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of the whole thing with the menu I wanted to go through. Let's go ahead and jump into our first match here in a second. Uh, you do have quick match. There's blood zone, which I believe is their main uh, game mode for this. There's also a training ground custom mode and then squad operations. I think squad operations is essentially their closest mode to battle royale, uh, but I haven't checked that out yet. So. For now, we're gonna go into the main one, Blood Zone, uh, which has two maps. It has Selene or Selene Valley and Greystone. Uh, by default, it selected Selene Valley. So I'm gonna select that and we're gonna try to find a match. All right, so here we go. It looks like we're loading into the match here right now. And I think it is a fresh, a fresh match to be joining here. Uh, looks like okay, so there is a timer is about 29 minutes per match uh, and then we are on the Cooperative team. Oh And there's only three person per team. Uh, you know what for the sake of the video I'm gonna stay in this match and try to see what it's like or if the game actually fills uh, for reference I did look at the Steam charts for this game and currently at the time of recording this there's about 460 people playing the game. Um, like I said before actually jumping into this match, I did get into two previous. Jesus, dude, doesn't like that rock. Uh, I did get into two previous matches just to kind of try to get some gameplay footage and test it out. Um, those matches that I joined, they were not full ma games either. So I have yet to actually load into a match that has a full team of 32 versus 32. Now, I, I'm not sure if we stay in here long enough. If it fills in, I guess we'll see. But it looks like right now it is starting to fill in. We got nine on my team, seven on the other. Um, but that is another thing that I did notice before even starting up. Now, I'm going to kind of drop the, the whole... Uh, commentating on every single thing that I'm doing or trying to fill the dead air and kind of just see what this game has to offer. Just to let you guys know. It's also kind of still waking up right now for myself. So I'm kind of trying to, you know, not just sit here in complete silence. I'm fighting that because I could, I could. All right, we're going to run over to Charlie here. The UI for this game, I, I do think it could be cleaned up a little bit. I don't know um, what the best idea would be. I mean, the objective being there at all times is kind of 
a little much. Same thing with even like your ammo and everything. Like say now, since I'm not doing anything, they could just turn off the UI and have it, you know, hidden. And then maybe when you do get in combat, okay, now it turns back on. Things like that. But that's just one no thing I noticed when I first loaded in. Now I haven't tried this. What is this X? Wait, so there's a purchasing aspect to this morphine box. How do I see how much money we have? Oh, okay. Just noticing that now. We have 1500 bucks. Uh, we can buy medic pack, guided rocket, UAV support, squad respawn device. Oh, you can also call an airstrike for that amount. Shoot. Fire morphine. All right, let's try heading over to I. There is some heavy auto aim. That took me directly to the guy. I, I kind of saw him, but Capturing mining machine my mouse was pulling I. towards that guy the whole time during that firefight. All right, let's see. Okay, so my health is in the bottom left. I'm gonna try using this. Medicine. All right, looks like we're healed up here. You can get another UAV support. airstrike okay let's see i'm gonna try putting it right here what happens let's find out i saw somebody get killed right there okay nothing happened nice is there a Okay, there is a toggle. Alright. Oh. Yep, like I didn't even know the guy was in the bush. I just started aiming that way and my mouse started pulling towards him. Alright, let's res this guy. Somewhere over there. Oh. Damn. Killed you. Okay. Well, there's our first death of the game. We haven't gotten any kills yet. I did get two kills, I think, in the... The previous matches that I joined. They're interesting. I mean, like, nothing too crazy. But, oh god. Glitching. Okay. Oh, those are friendly. Can I still see that guy? There's a guy right over there. Of course. Got killed again. Okay. So I wonder if you start with that 1500 bucks when you load into the game. How are we doing on team wise? 13 and 13. Like I said, I, I haven't been able to find a match where they were, it was full. Um, so I don't know if the game even really has the player base to have that at the moment. Okay. Now we can't get F because we don't have D. Okay, so it does that um, similar to like squad. Where you can't, there's certain objectives you can't grab unless if you have the one before it. That's cool. <laughs> Somebody just followed me on a platform uh, while I was off, off stream. So whoever that was, thank you. Thank you for that. And I'm dead.
So we got snipe. Damn, that guy is far. Holy. All right, let's spawn back in right here. All members move out. Going for Delta. I knew he was there, but it, I couldn't, I don't know. The game definitely has like a PUBG feeling to it. Um, for whatever reason, I mean, it might be using some of the same assets. I think this icon here actually lets us drop into the game. Yep. Here we go. Combat vehicle deployed Sweet. At Ally checkpoint. So that is pretty cool, where you can actually spawn. Now the only problem is that we can easily just look up and probably shoot us down. Yep, yeah, we're already getting shot at. I wonder if they have a full per first person mode. No way, bro. No way. Reload, reload. Oh my god. Resource overload state when resources are overloaded. I missed whatever that was saying. Game was kind of loud right there too. I keep clicking on the objective to spawn and then when you press space you think that it's like kind of enter like okay spawn me in there now it cancels your action so you have to click it and then you have to scroll down and then you have to click the other one again i am curious what a full match of this game would kind of be like though like if if both teams were actually full. I, I don't think that this is a bad starting point. But I don't know. I don't even know if this game's in 1.0. It was a little bit weird looking at the Steam page because like I, I got an offer to play this game for Keymailer, even though it's free to play quite a while ago. And I was looking at the release date on Steam. Uh, and... The Steam page shows as if this game released two days ago because it's June 30th at the time of playing this. But I know this game has been out longer than that. Um, I did actually decline <laughs> the offer from Steam because I saw the, I mean, from Keymailer originally. And I did get, because I, I saw the game was in such a mixed state and then i didn't really have time to play it at, at the time that i received that nice okay so we took d and then we took f like right after that that's not bad we're getting shot from. They reached fifty percent of the target amount. We must turn the tide. Free for all capture state. Ah. Oh. Ally captured point I. Wait. So does that mean that the ones? So like C. Anybody can capture right now. 
Okay, so it doesn't require you to have uh, I to get C right now or or D to get C. Huh. So maybe if they push you back far enough, then it's like, okay, you can't just capture anything you want. Now you have to go in this order to be able to capture it. I just realized that. I'm going to try to help them out, capture and see. I'm going to get here when it's like already halfway captured. Of course. Now, do you get money for capturing? You do. Okay, you get 500 bucks. It's interesting how they use a money system for redeeming, I guess, like... Uh... Not Alert. skill, or yeah, attack. technically skill streaks because they're not kill streaks. It's just objective based in a way. Not sure if I'm for or against it. It can work if implemented right. Let's try calling an airstrike here. Wait, did I call it in or no? Sorry, Requesting close air support. Point I to enemy. Recapture point I. Confirm slash. Good hit. Returning to base. And we got Delta back. Okay. Is there like a All members move out? Yep. So if you use middle mouse button, it's a ping system. What happens if I look at F? Oh god, there's a tank here. Oh god. I don't know how that didn't kill me. see how this works Reloading. got him Nice. Okay, that was kind of cool. Enemy pushing into point yeah, I see that guy. And okay, I was out of ammo. I can't re. You can't heal yourself or anything. We reached fifty percent of the target. Go ahead and cancel recovery. He got wrecked. Spawn in on F here. Help me. Ah, oh. first aid. Lost point D to enemy. Recapture point D. All right, let's try spawning in from there and let's go down the Delta. Let's move. Here we go dropping in and oh God, there's a guy right there. They toss a grenade. Point F. 
No way. Thank you. PKM unlocked. Okay. I wonder if you can change your armory while you're in the match or you have to do it out. I guess once we die, I'll, I'll try to check. Enemy UAV in action. It seems like it's pretty easy to unlock uh, abilities to use. Or use the skill streaks, I mean. Damn. Capturing mining machine at point F. Okay, where do we want to go? Let's try dropping in here. Enemy pushing into point C. We go straight for I. Indigo. The parachuting kind of reminds me of uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, which I've been wanting to do a fresh. I've been wanting to do a fresh playthrough of that game. Of the mother load uh, DLC that they had. Or whatever it was called. Same thing with I, I've kind of wanted to to replay the main story, but I know it's really long. So that would be a very long playthrough. But it would probably mainly be off stream for most of it. Now that they have all of the the companions that you can have, and it's not just you playing solo, it ch they've changed so much for that game. I, I truly think that that breakpoint is just as good as Wildlands was now in its current state. I almost feel like the recoil for the game is so high and they add some heavy auto aim to kind of compensate for it. But I feel like in return that, I don't know, it doesn't really mix well. Operation we'll failed, and it looks like the match we are in capped out at 10 players each team. When, like I said in the beginning, it is technically supposed to be a 32 versus 32 match. We did hit level 5 though, but uh, I think for right now, that's where we're, we're going to stop this video uh, in a second here. Actually, let's let's see what we got. We do have some new weapons. Now, I guess as you level up your weapons, there's more attachments to add. I did add the hollow sight since I did unlock that. I think you get that like level one. Um, but yeah, it looks like we didn't get actually anything new. 
um for now that's going to be it for this video if you guys did enjoy it definitely leave a like on it subscribe for more and if you do want to see some more of this game definitely leave a uh let me know in the comments and i'll do my best to record another episode and kind of take it from there maybe this game will take off maybe it'll die in the waters i have no idea but i guess the future will see for now thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time peace